Hey guys, Keegan from Computer World here. Today we're going to show you um, how to say things to Siri to have it understand you in a better context. Uh, we get a lot of customers that don't really know how to use Siri or um, don't necessarily like Siri because they don't find it helpful or useful. Um, so I'm going to show you uh, specific things that you can ask or tell Siri uh, to get the most out of how it works. The first thing I'm going to show you today is how to use Siri on the Mac. Um, Siri on the Mac was recently added in 2016 with Mac OS Sierra um, and it was improved with High Sierra. So if you have a MacBook Pro with the touch bar, you've got a dedicated Siri button right next to the Touch ID button at the top. Um, otherwise, you can use that command space shortcut where you press command and hold space for just a second, and then it activates Siri for you. Otherwise, there is this icon on the dock here, as well as this icon up here in the top right corner of your menu bar. So you've got a lot of options for inputs, so just find the one that works best for you. Um, and uh, first thing we're gonna try out is um, how to find files that you've recently been working on. So if you have a project that has been ongoing and you have a bunch of different documents, like let's say for example, a bunch of Word documents for notes, um, you've got a PowerPoint presentation you are working on, and you've got a bunch of JPEG photos saved on your computer that you're adding to that. Um, in this example, it'll show you all of the files that we've recently opened on this computer. So if I say, show me files I worked on last week. I found these files that were modified from last week. So it gives you search results. And then if you want to keep those search results for future reference, you can click this plus button right here. And then that gets added to your notification center up here that's right next to the Siri icon. And in the today view, it keeps your finder search at the very top. And of course you can adjust this and move it around wherever you want so that you can refer back to it later. And when you don't need it, you just hover over it, you get this X, you click the X and it goes away. 